Hi everybody and welcome to Music with Meg. I'm Meg and today we're learning about sea shanties. Everybody follow me, it's Music with Meg. Sea shanties are a type of folk song sung upon the seven seas. Sea shanties date back to over 500 years ago and they were originally sung by sailors, fishermen and pirates. Shanties are super fun and super catchy to sing along to and there's a very important reason for this because sea shanties were originally used as work songs. On board a ship there are lots of different jobs that require everybody on the ship to work together as a team. For example, pulling ropes, pushing barrels, rowing the boat and lots of different kinds of manual labour require people to be moving all at the same time. Imagine if there were five people rowing a boat but they were all rowing at different times. It would be a disaster. So, how did people on board the boat make sure that they were all moving at the same time? Music, of course. Singing sea shanties together meant that the crew could create a rhythm and they could all move in time to the song. Often there would be one leader or shanty man who would sing the verses of the song and everybody else would join in on the chorus. Now why does that sound familiar? Many folk songs had a chorus that everybody in the community could learn and sing together and then it would have verses that maybe one soloist would sing by themselves, which would tell the story. Let's try it out for ourselves. We're going to all do an activity together. You can pick your own activity or you can use mine. Firstly, you're going to need to find some other people to do this activity with. You're gonna to get together in a group and do something at the same time. For example, you could take a cup and pass it round the circle. So everybody will start with a cup and you're going to need to pass it to the person next to you and receive a cup from the person in front of you. And so on and so on. I'm using these glass bottles to demonstrate. So let's start with this activity with no singing at all. Like I said, you can choose your own activity or you can do mine. Everybody will start with an object, for example, a cup or a bottle and we're going to pass the bottle to the person on our left while we receive a bottle from the person on our right. And so on, you'll then pass your bottle to the person on the left and receive from the right and it will keep going until we stop. All right, are you ready? One, two, three, go. How was that? Was it difficult? Did you stay in time or were some people a little bit faster and others a little bit slower? Well, now we're going to add our sea shanty. You might know this one, but if you don't, it's really catchy, so hopefully you'll pick it up quickly enough. We're gonna sing the sea shanty together and you should feel the rhythm of the sea shanty will help you to move the cup at the same time. So it will go a little bit like this. You receive your cup and pass it along. What shall we do with the? And then you're gonna pass it again. Grumpy sailor, what shall we do with the grumpy sailor? What shall we do with the grumpy sailor? Early in the morning. All right, let's try it out all together. Here we go. 
What shall we do with the grumpy sailor? What shall we do with the grumpy sailor? What shall we do with the grumpy sailor? Early in the morning, heave ho and up she rises. Heave ho and up she rises. Heave ho and up she rises. Early in the morning. What shall we do with the grumpy sailor? What shall we do with the grumpy sailor? What shall we do with the grumpy sailor? Early in the morning. Heave ho and up she rises. Heave ho and up she rises. Heave ho and up she rises. Early in the morning. And stop. Hopefully you are passing your objects to the rhythm of the song and hopefully it was a little bit easier than trying to do the activity without the music. So as you can see, adding a song with a rhythm helps us all to move at the same time and on ships they even had different types of song for different tasks. So they would have shanties for tasks that involved moving around the ship which needed to have more of a marching rhythm and they would have a different kind of shanty for an activity like pulling a rope which needed there to be a break for these sailors to adjust their grip so it would be more like a pull and stop and pull and stop and pull and stop you can hear how those rhythms would be different depending on whether you're walking or pulling a rope Sea shanties were so popular because not only did they help people do their jobs well but singing kept people happy and the lyrics were often quite funny. Nowadays, many boats are powered by fuel and they don't need such a big crew to work on them. So sea shanties aren't so necessary anymore. But we all love singing sea shanties. And if you go to a harbour town, then I'm sure you would find somebody singing a sea shanty somewhere. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you'll know when my next video comes. Have a lovely week everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!